adding and subtracting can get pretty competitive. When you're using positives and negatives, adding and subtracting can get pretty competitive. When you're using positives and negatives, here's how it works. I'ma show you one time. It helps if you think of things on a number line. Let's do negative five plus six. Start at negative five, just like this. Now add six, go six to the right. We end up at one, and we know that that's right. How about four plus negative five? Start at four, get ready to slide. Back five spots, negative one. So that's our answer. This one's done. Adding and subtracting can get pretty competitive. When you're using positives and negatives, adding and subtracting can get pretty competitive. When you're using positives and negatives, check it out, we're gonna do one more. We got negative two minus negative four. Two negatives in a row. Don't make a fuss. Two negatives can just make a plus. So now it's negative two plus four. Use the number line like we did before. Negative two is the spot where we start. Jump four to the right and see where we are. We end up resting right on the two. So two is the answer that we know is true. Adding and subtracting can get pretty competitive. Yeah. When you're using positives and negatives. Adding and subtracting can get pretty competitive. Uh-huh. When you're using positives and negatives.